Information about Dupuytren disease from the Dupuytren Foundation. What is Dupuytren disease? Dupuytren disease causes Dupuytren contracture, which bends fingers down. It runs in families. There's a genetic basis. It can skip several generations, so people might not know of anyone in their family with it. It's rare in younger people. It's really a problem of seniors. On the average, men develop Dupuytren disease at about 10 years younger than women. Men have a head start, but after age 50, both sexes develop new cases at about the same rate. It's mainly a Caucasian thing. In the United States, it's most common in Caucasians, less so in Hispanics, than African Americans, than Asian Americans. The risk of Dupuytren disease increases with cardiac risk factors, particularly smoking, diabetes, and an abnormal lipid profile. Dupuytren disease is named after the world-famous 1800s French surgeon whose name is pronounced something like Dupuytren. But if you don't speak French, just say Dupuytren. Dupuytren disease changes over time, progressing from nodule to cord to contracture. At any one time, four out of five people are early. They don't yet have contracture. Every year, about 2% of people with disease develop contracture that requires treatment. 10 million Americans currently have Dupuytren contracture. More Americans have a diagnosis of Dupuytren than live in the state of New York. The disease starts in one hand in about four out of five people, but ultimately involves both hands in about four out of five people, slightly more common in the right hand. Dupuytren disease tends to be more aggressive in people who develop it earlier in life, who have a relative with it, or who have both hands involved tends to be more aggressive in people who have related conditions of frozen shoulder, Peroni disease, knuckle pads, and letter hose disease. There's no preventative treatment or medication. We treat contractures with procedures, minimally invasive or open surgery. Minimally invasive procedures include percutaneous fasciotomy in which the cord is cut with a needle or collagenase enzyme injection to dissolve cords under the skin. Open surgery includes fasciectomy in which the diseased tissue is removed or dermofasciectomy which also replaces skin with a skin graft. Recurrence or return of contracture is an unsolved problem. Recurrence is fastest after minimally invasive procedures. Fasciectomy lasts on the average over twice as long and dermofasciectomy even longer, but none of these are a cure. All procedures ultimately fail because they treat the anatomy but not the root cause, the core biology. We have to change our approach to understand the biology so that we can develop better treatment options. Now our bodies are made out of collagen and myofibroblasts are the cells which modify collagen. Collagen is little threads. These myofibroblasts shrink collagen by pulling on some of the threads to make some slack. And the slack is taken out by enzymes in the tissue and this shortens the collagen strands. Now that's a normal thing when you heal a cut, but with Dupuytren disease, the same process is activated inappropriately. We need to do research to find out why this happens so that we can develop better treatment options for Dupuytren disease. That's the goal of the Dupuytren Foundation.